Hello YouTube, Brent Peeler here with you. Coming to you from the Mi Farm farm stay. Uh, somewhere up here on the Chinese border. Uh, yesterday didn't go as planned. I struck out for uh, that Banjik waterfall, which was like seven and a half hours from Van Dong. And according to my map last night, I made it about five and a half hours. Of course, the first two hours were uh, very low visibility due to the rain and fog and sleet, or not sleet, but mist. And then the last two hours were about the same. Uh, about four o'clock yesterday, I realized I was in trouble when I still never found a, a town. Uh, I'm kind of, I'm not in the tourist uh, spot no more, so I'm out here in the countryside and so it, it got about an hour before dark and i was on some roads that uh they was about like this they i wouldn't consider them roads or more like trails and there for a minute i was doing good that it was there was one just like this about the same size that had just been concreted and i was i was getting it because i was nervous i was looking for a town i know i didn't want to be driving after dark it was raining uh, the visibility was getting very, very low, and all of a sudden the pavement in, and it just turned into a swamp, mud, rutted uh, road. And next thing I know, I'm going end over end, uh, flew over the top of my handlebars, wiped out. Uh, luckily, I didn't hurt nothing other than my pride, and uh, so I crept on down to a, to the edge of the road where there was finally a construction sign and some guy seen me pulling out of there and of course there was a language barrier so he couldn't speak he looked at my map and my map still showed that i was going to that waterfall which was still two hours away and i was kind of trying to, to nod and, and motion to him that i didn't care where as long as he could point me towards somewhere I could find a place to stay. So he pointed me one direction. I rode about 20 more minutes, um, found a small village. I pulled over at the tallest home I could find and said, is this a homestay? Of course, another language barrier, but that kind gentleman, he grabbed his phone and uh, Google translator, found me a homestay about 15 kilometers away and told me, said, uh, go here. And the bad part about it though, my map, my Google Maps was acting up and a little arrow that was been following the road, the whole Hajong loop, it worked great on the loop, but I like to say, I'm not on the loop no more. I'm in the, I'm in the countryside. And so the arrow was actually about a, an inch off from the road and just doing crazy shit. I mean, it wasn't nowhere near following the road telling me turn around, telling me do this. And, and it was clearly the, the map's fault because I'm on a road that's cut out of the mountain. It's not like they just uh, scooted over, you know, 600 yards and made a new road. So Google Maps is no bueno for caca up here in the Northeast part of Vietnam, Southern China. Uh, but luckily I did find this me farm stay, which the guy recommended and pulled in here they put me up for the night in a little bungalow very comfortable bed uh, fed me supper last night and breakfast this morning it was a bit cold but they had hot water so i'm about four hot showers deep uh into this deal I finally got warmed up last night and was able to sleep i woke up a couple of times cold they do have air conditioner but they don't have heat I was going to show you their little their little bungalows up up on the how you go around and it's kind of up on that mountain just little bungalows but very very good place to stay i highly recommend it and like i say they just saved they totally saved my bacon uh but it's a little farm stay they grow all their own vegetables uh fish chickens all that stuff and just if I had more time, I'd hang out here for a day and check out, there's a little pond right there. 
uh, all kinds of garden. Uh, but yeah, it's a little off the road. See this, this path here that leads to a highway. You can see this van coming down it. Uh, but yeah, I'd first pulled up, there's a sign up there on the road and I'd pulled up there and there was music playing and I couldn't get nobody's attention. I was like, son of a bitch, you know, I'm still can't, still ain't got a place to stay. Well, anybody, way about that time, some other, some other Vietnamese people pulled up and I seen a lady tell them to come down this road. And so hell, I just followed them, followed them, pulled right up, walked up to them after they got done. And they put me up for the night. Cost about 24, 24 US. And I would have paid 54. I mean, I was, I was, I was getting worried. And after that crash, I decided to kind of slow down. And so <laughs> before I even left here, I found me a destination and I'm headed to a place about uh, four hours away. There's no way in hell I'm trying seven hours again. I waited, it's about 10 o'clock, 10.30 probably. I waited for the, the clouds to clear so I'm not driving that blinding shit no more. I'm sticking to total regular roads. I don't care if I come across the police. I shouldn't because I'm not on the, I'm not on the tourist loop. I'm not in the, the hot spot. Uh, but even if I was, I wouldn't give a shit. I'd take a, I'd take a, a ticket and a fine over what I went through yesterday evening. It was a gorgeous ride yesterday when I could see, but by the time I thought I was out in out in the clear, here would come the clouds and the rain again and I couldn't see shit. And it gets cold, it gets freaking cold, I ain't kidding. Uh, this little uh, Chinese North Face coat that I bought in Hanoi, or no, it was Hai An, uh, Hoi An or whatever. It saved my bacon yesterday. And before I, before I left, I bought me some gloves, gloves and a ski mask. And so I, I stayed fairly warm. I was still shivering my ass off when I got here, but it was, uh, I got warmed up and good go. Hello. Hello. Uh, but yeah, highly recommend this place y'all ever around here. I wish I could tell you exactly where the hell I'm at, but I don't know. All I know is I'm about five and a half hours from Dong Van and somewhere on the Chinese border. But it's just a beautiful, beautiful place. Anyway, folks, I'm gonna get off here and hit the road. This is Brent's tripping. Peace.